Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. That's a free way to help the site. Let's talk basketball, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, we now have clarity in the Eastern Conference of the National Basketball Association. The Brooklyn Nets were 5-0 and on a recent road trip. They went to Los Angeles. They beat the Lakers and the Clippers on their home courts in back-to-back -back games. The game before that double win. They beat Phoenix in Phoenix. The only team getting shorter odds than the Nets on NBA Futures right now are the Lakers. And folks, the game really wasn't that close. Now let me say, the Nets have three of the highest ceiling guys in the league. Understand, if you go by Hollinger player efficiency rating, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and James Harden are all in the top 20. Let me also say the Nets are only getting better, right? Let's remember, Steve Nash is a first-year head coach. Also, other teams in the East are showing cracks. The Celtics, for example, the other day had a huge lead over the Pelicans. It was huge. They fell apart. Something's missing on that team. Right? Kemba Walker doesn't look like the same player. In Philadelphia, Joel Embiid is having an MVP year. But the team is inconsistent. And I mean inconsistent in a big way. Some nights, they can't hit threes. Now, the Nets have evolved to the point where we used to ask the question, is one basketball enough? That was after James Harden joined the team. You know what? It is. It is enough. Because as we're learning, the unloved, unpopular James Harden, in my opinion, and you can disagree with me in the comment section of this video, is the league's best player. Understand, Harden has been the league's dominant scorer over the last five years. That's not in dispute, folks. Look at the scoring titles. He's not loved. He's upset fans. He's upset teammates. He and Chris Paul, according to folklore, did not get along. Uh, Russell Westbrook couldn't wait to leave Houston last year. Let's face it. Westbrook is so unloved that he got jobbed in an MVP race in a year in which he averaged 36 points a game. Look it up. No one was within five points per game of him. 36 points a game. And they gave the MVP to someone else. Now, Harden did win an MVP another year. More importantly... On a team with two ball-centric superstars, James Harden's game is so developed that he has fit that team like a glove. In other words, in Brooklyn now, they know the roles. He's bringing the best out of Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Joe Harris. That's a name you need to know because he's one of the best three-point shooters in the entire league. Let me put it to you this way. James Harden, again, no one's going to say he's the best player in the league other than folks like me here online, right, gamblers here online who are looking at the numbers religiously and hardcore boxing fans behind closed doors. He's not a popular pick. You look at his game, he doesn't look like Jordan. He's not as fluid. He's not as graceful. Right? You see him flopping on defense and, you know, 
Let's face it, floppers don't move to the front of the line. But understand that James Harden right now has joined a new team. This is his first year with the Nets. He was not with them opening day. And he's averaging 11 assists a game. That's how dominant he is. He's given up a little bit of his scoring. Don't get me wrong, he's still over 20 points per game. He's given up a little of his scoring, and he's showing you that he is the best passer on the Nets. Quite frankly, you look at his record, right? Understand, James Harden, in his past, has already won an assist title. You look at his record, and you realize that this unloved guy is first ballot. I think it's because James Harden augments, brings the best out of the other superstars on the team that the Brooklyn Nets likely win the Eastern Conference of the National Basketball Association. Now, let me say this. I'm not here saying James Harden is going to win the MVP. I'm guessing right now it's going to be Joker, right? The center for the Denver Nuggets. Right? Um, I have friends who say, oh, it has to be LeBron. He's 36. He's older. Let's appreciate him while we can. Right? You know, I don't care who wins the MVP. The best player in the game is James Harden. He has a supporting cast right now that's old enough, that's mature enough to know how to get it done. Understand, he and KD got to the NBA Finals early in his career. Unfortunately, the OKC Thunder didn't realize Harden's level of talent. The young guys were too blinded by bright lights to know what to do in the Finals against LeBron James. Well, now it's different. Now it's their time. Kyrie is a major closer. KD has already beaten LeBron twice in finals. Has a couple of rings. Is out to prove himself. Right? KD's almost certainly the comeback player of the year. And, of course, you add to that mix a guy who is far better than advertised. Far better than advertised. Google James Harden and you're going to see people complaining about his level of fitness. <laughs> it's just downright ridiculous, right? The guy's playing many minutes, right? Realistically, if the MVP voting wasn't about likability, this guy would be one of the leading candidates. Well, he's joined the team. The team is operating seamlessly. Understand, too, the team's had some problems, right? This pick might not last if Kyrie decides to take another week off like he did before. And I mean a week off where he's not even on the court, right? If KD's leg starts acting up, let's remember KD didn't play last season. That'd be a huge blow. The team does have age too, right? The center's DeAndre Jordan who's been in the league a number of years. But at this point, I'm just saying, if this team stays healthy, just map the trajectory. Folks, I believe they're in the NBA Finals. I can't say that about the Lakers. When I look at the West, I see Utah, I see Denver, I see the Clippers. I think the West is up for grabs, not the East. The play I like here on a futures are the new, excuse me, the Brooklyn Nets. They're going off at a plus 350 right now. I believe you want to get this position locked up before the Nets continue to run roughshod over teams like the Lakers and Clippers. And gamblers then start to think, well, wow, if I've seen these guys beat teams that are supposed to be in the running. If, if I see them beat up on the Lakers and the Lakers are getting shorter odds than the Nets, why am I not putting my money on the Nets? Before the public wakes up, beat them to the punch. 
Get the Nets at a plus 350. Understand, at these odds, if the Nets just get to the conference finals, you can start hedging. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. The Nets were on a five-game road trip, folks. They were 5-0. Thanks for stopping by.